The E-Class is a full-size luxury car available as a coupe, sedan, or wagon. And it sits in the mid-grade level of Mercedes cars. But don't let that fool you. The E-Class is an extremely luxurious vehicle. And when you hand the keys over to the team at AMG, well... <laughs> So obviously this is the AMG car. Now you can get the AMG version in all the different configurations. So you can have the coupe, sedan, or wagon, all as AMG. And in 2019, I actually drove both the sedan and wagon versions of this vehicle. And it's funny, I came out of that, even though I love wagons, I love the design of the wagon, I actually preferred driving the sedan. They feel like two completely different vehicles. You'll have to go back and watch those reviews though, because they were pretty good there. Obviously today we're talking about the sedan. You can get the E-Class AMG in two different trim levels. You can get an AMG E53, or an AMG E63S. And your big difference there are gonna be engine options and a little bit around the vehicle. Again, obviously we're gonna be focusing on this one, which has had a redesign since the one I drove in 2019. So let's go ahead and check out the exterior, see what's new here, see how we like this exterior design. Then we'll check out the interior. We'll check out all the tech in this thing. We'll take it for a drive, talk about that engine under the hood, and then we'll wrap it up talking about the price and some final thoughts. Let's get into it. So let's start off the exterior here, talking about that color that is graphite gray metallic, and I love it. It's a really great color for this vehicle, especially with all the black and carbon fiber accents that you have here, which we'll get into right now we do have the amg carbon fiber exterior package one which gives us carbon fiber elements such as the front splitter side fender insert side seal panel inserts and a insert in the rear bumper we also have the amg exterior carbon fiber package two which gives us the addition of the exterior mirror covers in carbon fiber and the AMG carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler. Now this also has the AMG night package, which gives you high gloss black elements, which most of the elements that should be high gloss black are actually taken over by the carbon fiber. So the front splitter, exterior mirror covers, side sill inserts are all still carbon fiber, but we do have high gloss black window trimming and the black chrome tailpipe trimming. This new design includes Mercedes new expression of their vertical bar AMG grille. And this is the A-wing design versus the V-wing design that we had in that 2019. Quite frankly, I really like the grille design, the big old huge Mercedes badge up front. Please don't get the illuminated Mercedes logo. It doesn't really look good. Just get the standard one. And of course, we've got that AMG logo there on the bottom right hand side of the grill. Those lights come with the LED intelligent light system and adaptive high beam assist. And we have the dual bulging hood. Moving along to the side, we have the 20 inch AMG forged cross spoke wheels in black. The rear has been dramatically reshaped as well with new horizontally oriented LED tail lamps, adding sporty distinction. We also have those big tailpipes, which are a little bit fake, which is kind of disappointing for an AMG. And like I said, that deck lid spoiler in carbon fiber. You can also see the AMG badge back here in the E63S badge. All right, and let's really quickly cover the dimensions of the E-Class sedan. The total wheelbase is 115.7 inches. The full length is 196.2 inches. The overall width is 81.3 inches. And the overall height is 57.4 inches, but it does have the AMG air suspension that allows it to raise and lower itself, which we'll talk a little bit more about as we drive it. All right, guys, and with that, let's check out the trunk and the cargo capacity 
easy pop here from the back. There's also a pop on the key, but it is a really good size. There's 13.1 cubic feet of cargo space in the trunk, able to fit all of our camera gear just fine, plus soccer equipment for the kid, plus groceries if we needed it. It is a full-size sedan, so you are getting a trunk made for a full-size sedan, which is always great. You also get a trunk close and a close and lock button here, which is really nice. So you don't have to uh, worry about relocking the vehicle after you close the trunk. Just hit that button if you're walking away. But all in all, I'm sure cargo volume isn't what you're here to see. So let's get in. Let's start looking at the interior, starting with the rear seats. And then we'll look at the tech. Then we'll take it for a drive. All right, so we're here in the rear seats of the E63, and as you might expect, it's really good back here as well. These front seats have these notches uh, in them to help with knee room, although you do have plenty of room back here. It's not S-class level, obviously, but it's plenty of room. We do have decent headroom back here. It's a little bit tight. I'm 6'1". Again, it's, it's a bit tight, but it's manageable. We do have a moonroof panel back here. We have carbon fiber inserts in the door. We have our own AC vents. You do have an accessory power plug back here. You have a pull down armrest, a little bit of storage, and pop out cup holders. This uh, back speaker back here actually has an LED light. Uh, in it that illuminates. It's pretty cool. We've got the rear shade that is up. So I drove this thing for the full week. I had three kids wide in the back seats. No complaints there. We, we even went a uh, decent distance in the vehicle. And again, no complaints, but this isn't the uh, important or main part of the vehicle up there in the driver's seat is. So let's take a look up there right now. All right, so again, interior-wise, really nice. We do have the black Napa leather seats, AMG-specific, AMG logoing in the seat itself, the dark carbon fiber throughout the cabin. And this is a completely redesigned interior, so let's dive in and see everything that we're dealing with here. All right, so you can see that full carbon fiber from one door all the way across the dash all the way around to the other door. It's also down here in the center console area. Nice carbon fiber look. You also got the multicolor ambient lighting here. It illuminates underneath the carbon fiber here. It also illuminates behind these speakers. Whenever they do come out, they twist out with ambient lighting behind there. A really cool party piece. But moving along, we also have AMG illuminated door sills. These black exclusive Napa leather seats are heated and ventilated seats. We do have silver seat belts, which sound gimmicky, but I think actually look really good in this. We also have the black cloth headliner. And of course, you got the big glass piece here and the smaller glass piece in the back with the uh, crossbar here and the one in the front does slide back but of course the one in the back does not and these speakers that we were looking at a second ago are part of the Bermster high-end surround sound system and needless to say it sounds really good now as Mercedes has been doing in a lot of their vehicles you do have the dual 12.3 inch screens when it's off, it looks like one big screen, but you can tell it's two separate screens here. This is a fully touch screen here. This is very responsive, obviously. No need for this to be touch screen, but it is a nice panel. We do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here. And of course, we have the MBUX, the Mercedes-Benz user experience, which is a really solid system. And this one does have the augmented reality video navigation, which I'll try to show a little bit of as we drive. We also do have a cubby back here for wirelessly charging the phone. It's a little bit difficult to get back there to get the phone in and out. Definitely could end up forgetting your phone back there, but there's not many other places in this interior for that. So it's nice that they still threw it in. All right, now let's talk about this all new AMG performance steering wheel. You do have the leather top and bottom with suede on the side. 
We have the gloss black. We have the split spoke sides here, which is pretty cool. Now the AMG one is not heated. You have to get the regular E-Class steering wheel if you're looking for a heated steering wheel. But this AMG one is definitely worth getting in the AMG, obviously. The previous one had a plethora of buttons on it as well as this one does. They're basically the same buttons and the same layouts, uh, but everything is touch pad sensitive. You used to just have these little uh, touch toggles right here, but now pretty much everything is just a touch pad. So you have the controls for your infotainment. You have the controls for your driver information display, cruise control settings and other settings here. And then down here you have these wheels with little displays that perform different tasks here like turning the traction control, pumping up the exhaust audio, and then changing your drive mode here, which is really cool, but also redundant buttons from what you get down here with the touchpad for the infotainment system, and then all the uh, buttons for your driving modes for your exhaust to turn off the auto start stop and to change your drive modes and everything. Now, again, these displays are really cool. There's a lot of information that you can dive into them. I have dove into a lot of this stuff in other Mercedes AMG reviews. So if you're interested in that, go check out some of those. The driver display can be changed between different uh, looks. You can have a sport look, you can have a uh, clean look, you can have a classic look. This one is a sport look. I'm not gonna go through all of those again in this one if you're interested in that. Go check out some of my other videos that are longer and go into detail. This one though, I'm excited to get driving. So let's do that right now. Let's mount up the camera and let's get driving and talk about the power, the engine and everything else that comes with that. All right guys, so we'll kick it on. It is push button start, which is nice. The exhaust and everything is pretty subdued, especially on startup until you crank up the exhaust note, put it into sport, which obviously will do and uh, let's start driving. All right, let's start off by talking about that engine under the hood. It is the handcrafted AMG four liter bi-turbo V8 engine. That pushes 603 horsepower, 627 foot-pounds of torque and is a monster. That's all matched up to the AMG Speed Shift MTC 9-speed transmission. And we have our large paddle shifters here. Nice feel, nice material. If you're feeling like you need to manually shift some gears. <laughs> but really, acceleration in this thing is insane. It's hard to even uh, use it because as soon as you hit the accelerator pedal, it uh, just goes. You just gotta hold on and keep it straight. All of that power is being helped to be put down to the ground with the uh, AMG 4MATIC Plus system. And that system will send torque to the wheels that can best turn it into power and agility. And under acceleration and cornering, the system can put 50-50 power to every wheel or put 100% to the rear wheels. Again, whatever's gonna give you the most traction and push. And I've definitely pushed this hard enough where we had a couple of close calls that the 4MATIC and traction control system definitely saved me. You do have acceleration zero to 60 of 3.3 seconds, which is amazing for a four-door luxury sedan. And I'm not completely into all of those numbers and testing out the scientific uh, exact zero to 60 time, but doing some acceleration tests that we've done, I 100% believe that this thing will do it. You do have a launch control, but I never really use it. Just stop, slam that foot on the gas and <laughs> hold on. We do have the AMG Carbon Ceramic Braking System, and they are very touchy, very sensitive brakes. It does take some time to get used to how much pressure you can put on. If you put any more than just slight pressure on the brake pedal, you will stop. But after a week of driving it, I have gotten used to it, so I'm not uh, throwing the family into the seat backs any longer, but they are sensitive. 
they are sensitive for day-to-day -day driving, but if you're on a track, uh, you definitely are gonna enjoy those. We do have the Mercedes driving assist package that gives you a lot of great features, including an autonomous driving mode where you can basically set the cruise. It'll keep you in the lanes. It'll keep you a certain distance from the car in front of you. And you have lane changing assist. All the technology you would come to expect from a vehicle like this. As far as fuel economy goes, you're looking at 16 miles per gallon city, 23 miles per gallon highway. Not terrible for a bi-turbo V8 that you're romping on a lot. On average for our full week with this AMG E63S, we've been averaging 15 miles to the gallon, which is pretty good. Obviously in the process of testing the vehicle, you're gonna be using that power a lot more than normal. We also leave it idle as we're taking pictures and videos sometimes. So take that with a bit of a grain of salt, but again, still a pretty good number and if you're buying this worried about the fuel economy then you're doing it wrong and if you're like me after all those stats after hearing about the drive you're probably wondering how much is this going to cost me the base price on this one the e63s is hundred and seven thousand dollars this one with the carbon fiber packages and different options that we have is just under $140,000. So that's a lot of money to be spending on a sedan, but it's definitely a solid purchase if you've got the money to do it. Let me find a place to pull over. I'll give you my final thoughts on this thing, and then we'll wrap the video up there, and I'll continue to drive and have fun for the last couple of days that I've got it. So with that, with this new engine, the 603 horsepower bi-turbo V8 under the hood, this is one of the quickest AMG products to date. It is the quickest and most powerful E-Class to date. With all of the tech that you get inside, all the luxury features, it is one of the best E-Classes that I've ever driven. And with that, I've 100% fallen in love with this vehicle. It's not something that I could afford, but it's definitely something that I would aspire to own one day. It is an extremely nice vehicle, which took me by surprise because the first time I drove one, I didn't think I would like it. I ended up liking it but I wasn't in love with it. But after spending a full week with this one, uh, I definitely am in love with this vehicle. So take that for what you will. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the E63S. If you're not already, be sure to go check out TXGarage.com where we have a lot of written articles, reviews, news coverage, event coverage, all over there at TXGarage.com. And if you're not already, obviously please subscribe to this channel. And with that, Thanks for watching.